Right, so I don't know if you know this, Mason, but uh, Star Wars The Force Unleashed had two alternate endings. Go the, ca on. the canon ending, where he turns good and he, he dies, but then he comes back as a clone or whatever. Cool, finished up, we did it. No, 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 there's, a, there's another ending. There's a dark side ending, a non-canon ending. And there's a number of DLC levels that extend from that in this cancelled timeline. So the, it's all cancelled timelines now. It doesn't. It's just, so the so the bad ending, James, leads to more content. Yes, exactly. Isn't that just encouraging juvenile delinquency? <laughs> in a way, yes. Mm. So in, so where the bloody hell are we, James? Well, we're actually on Tatooine because this picks up. It's an alternate take on a new hope, right? Oh. Where the droids have stolen the plans and whatever, and you have to go. <laughs> you have to, yeah, you know all that. And you have Lord to, Vader. <laughs> The droids have stolen the plans or whatever. <laughs> I'm British. <laughs> and you have to go down to Tatooine and retrieve them. But in doing so, you've got to go through Jabba the Hutt because he's the source of all information Physically on Tatooine. Physically through him? You, mm, I wish, no. But the reason we're doing this to tie into the Mandalorian is we get to kill Boba Fett. Nice. And good. there's also this hilarious. Not much of a, not much of a, uh, a, a, t a test, really. Not it? really, as you'll see when it comes up. So the idea is. Yeah, and I remember, I remember this guy being way overpowered. Yeah, but that's what I in like. In a cool way. Yeah, in like a cool in a, way, yeah. In a, in a, you know, this guy could probably have taken down, like, Obi Wan and Darth Vader in that final scene on the on the Death Star. Well, it's funny. Know, it's funny. With his arm behind his back and this cool <laughs> lightsaber style he's got going on. It's funny you should say that because this also has a bonus boss after nice. uh, Boba Fett, which I, which I won't tell you about just yet, but just know in this timeline yes. Darth Vader is dead oh. and he's taken his place. This oh, because you done kill him. Yeah, you done kill him. So the, so, but then you get injured and that's why you're this weird kind of monster yeah. man. You, know I mean? you sort of blend in because you look like a sand. Yeah, creature. exactly. He's, he's, this guy, you, you wouldn't pick him out in a bloody crowd, mate. <laughs> I mean, he's got a big glowing but stick. But it wouldn't melt in his mouth. Yeah. That being said, I don't. I never liked the lightsaber combat in this game. Okay. I mean, there's fun stuff like this. Oh know, yeah, that's is cool. It because, is it one of those games where you can't chop a man yeah. in half? Okay, yeah, exactly. Right. You can only chop a robot in half. Yeah, and look, you know, I guess the same criticism could be. Could <laughs> you be, can fling a jar. Yeah, it's gone forever. The, the same criticism could definitely be leveled against Fallen Order, but that to me has better combat. Yeah. This is more kind of God of War esque. Do you know what I mean? It's oh, got that kind of feel. Okay. And, uh, and you're being followed around by a small child. That's who, right. Who, who will only obey your commands sometimes. <laughs> exactly. But there's fun things you can do, like, like the the force stuff. I love. Yeah, right. Just stuff like this, you know. Where's he? Where's he going? <laughs> never, never coming down. He's going to space. He's, he's going, going to, to be, space. He might fall down. Just give it a minute. Give it a minute. Give it a minute. Gonna start a new Jawa colony in space. He's not <laughs> Basically, making your way towards Jabba the Hutt's palace. We're gonna, now we're gonna kill our way in. Okay. Now, is this the sand crawler? This is the sand crawler. Oh my god! It's the Jawa machine. You're familiar with it, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, that's you right. You know what it is? Yeah. It's the you, famous Jawa machine. You know it's the one from the movies because it says if this Jawa machine's knocking, rocking, don't come a knocking. Exactly. It might actually be called um. The, the big Jawa car. I can't remember. I think that's. I think nice. that's what it says on Wikipedia. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I think there's just endless. It's Jawas. called the Bantha wagon, but in this universe, Bantha is a slang for a really rude thing. Exactly. So, so this is fun. There's stuff like this which is fun. You know. And uh, can, there is a lot of like. Cop that Jawas. I Cop know. that with your livelihood <laughs> and your house and where you live and. They could probably fix it. Yeah, probably. I mean, I killed most of them, but they could yeah, probably yeah, yeah, fix yeah. it, yeah. I mean, the one guy that's left can probably live in there with his broken legs until he <laughs> dies, I guess. Yeah, I think so. That's fine. That's absolutely... That looks like a little secrety thing. Oh, oh yeah. No, nah, that's no, a you're trick. Gonna, you're going to put death there, yeah. yeah. I'm on Why to is you. it the Jedi can't mostly just fly? Great question. Isn't it though? Let's look you can at the pick Wikipedia. up a man and throw a man. Yeah. Or a jar. Well, but you can't pick up yourself and throw yourself. I mean, yourself? you see him kind of levitate and stuff. Yeah, it does happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! It's getting by a rock. <laughs> a rock came out of nowhere. See, if you were levitating, that wouldn't have been an issue. No, it wouldn't you would have been. been above those rocks. See that arch there that's just around. It's got, it's got great physics on it, I'm going to show you. But that's an original Ralph McQuarrie piece, which didn't make uh, the original films. I see. But it's been recycled since. You've seen it in Rebels. Mm. You've seen it in this, obviously. You see it in The Force Awakens, which is what they do now for a lot of Star Wars stuff. They're like, uh, well, let's just go into the Ralph McQuarrie archive. Yeah, of course, yes. Look at that. That's pretty good, eh? We bought everything he ever did. Yeah. So, uh, and he made so much stuff, so let's have it. Exactly. Don't leave nothing on the table. I just wanted to get the name of the, uh, the physics engine in this, because there's a few things at work here. There's Havoc. Okay. There's Euphoria and DMM. And the idea is that all of these things were very revolutionary at the time and they combined to make kind of realistic uh, villains to, to fight against, like great physics of things smashing and falling apart oh, yeah. and things like that. And probably other things. Great physics. Oh, you can, okay. you know, you can smash pretty a rock good. up you can, and whatever. You can, you can smash Mr. Sniper over there. Yeah. That's pretty good. And then, yeah, and then stab and run. He's probably nuts. all right. No, he's dead. He's definitely yeah, 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 dead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's, that's the way of the world, isn't it? <laughs> Especially you're all right, Star you're all right, you're all right, then you're dead. Yeah. Platforming also is not great. 
Uh-huh. Like it's it's a bit kind of you don't feel like you're ever really intact with the environment. Just, do you get that yeah, sense? Yeah, no, from I get that? the sense. Yeah, yeah. Like there's get, an invisible wall here that yeah, I can't sort of like touch. Yeah, it feels like that isn't actually. That's not the shape of the actual mountain thing there. It's yeah. just a big square box. Yeah, exactly. That you work yeah. around. Yeah. Yeah. So you know. Okay. No, comp- oh, it's going to be a bit of juttering and slow down here. But, so J- I but James, the incredible banter is going to more than compensate. All we have to do is come up with. First of all, we have to start doing some incredible banter. We're going yeah, to yeah, get yeah. that going. We'll get first, that going, obviously, and then yeah. just never stop. Oh, until- there it goes! It's slave one. I clapped when I saw it. Juttering away. There it is. Yeah, nice. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Cop that, Ralph McQuarrie. Yeah. You son of a bitch. I should uh, I should apologize for this. It's it's more the capture card software than it is the game. The game itself's running fine, but making a mess, isn't it, Mason? Mm. But we'll be all right. Boom. Oh, Ralph, we're sorry. Cop that your life's work, Ralph. He didn't like it. He didn't put it in. That's Remember this big true, door yeah. from Jabba the Hutt? Yeah, sort of. Can yeah, I crush, g- crush a rancor with it? N- cool. That's going to be coming up. Oh. Do you remember in the special edition, though, where they made this door, like, much bigger? No. Oh, I'll put in footage. You're going to love okay. it, mate. You're going to fucking <laughs> love it. And is there a side character like a droid who's like, this is so much bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's this exactly what it is. This really impressive what they've done yeah. here. See, this is very uh, The Force Unleashed where they just up everything. I was so going to say it's very, one... whack, it's very whack-a-mole. If yeah, anything. I mean, like, instead of there being like one eye, yeah. It's like, because it's like everything's enhanced in the Force Unleashed. You know? like yeah, there's sure, so sure. many fancy eyes sticking out. Be, Eat with right, Jabba the Hutt. Yeah. I will. I'll meet him and I'll say hello. Hello there, I'll say. If you bought the Force Unleashed technical manual, there'd be a picture of that door and then a little man to scale so you That's know right. how big it is. Exactly. It's going to be some Gamorrean guards. Oh, yeah. Are the pig boys? Yeah, pig, piggy mans. There we go. <laughs> that didn't go so well for you, did it, piggy man? I mean, man. he's still half alive. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I see, this is stuff like, this shouldn't be a challenge. This should be, you know, you cut through them and it's done. Yeah, You know what sure. I mean? Mm. You're just kind of swiping at them and your lightsaber's going through them. And, you know, again, the Force stuff works way better than the lightsaber yeah. combat in this. I mean, I mean, realistically, there probably shouldn't even be a fight. No. You should probably just look at him and go, maybe you left the oven on at home. And Let's they'd be like, oh, God, I've got to go. Well, if you remember Luke Skywalker, he just chokes him and then that's it. Like, yeah. there's nothing to it. Yeah, but then Luke, I guess Luke didn't have the advantage of is he able to do this four shockwave thing. That's true. Which is sick. Do you think he would have if he knew? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So there's a few kind of ideas for what to do with this game before it got off the ground. Uh-huh. Uh, the guy who... Number like, one... Smash it to bits. Absolutely, yes. But Not then, make it. <laughs> and then the, and the guy that suggested that, he got fired. He got fired, he's out of there. Yeah, yeah. But Hayden Blackman, who was like the key creative force behind this, he's gone he on. He said, we should make it. He should make it, that's what he said. He's written one of my favourite Star Wars comics, which is um, Darth Vader in the Ghost Prison, which I think we got a video on from like years ago. Yeah, maybe. But uh, there was an idea of like a Wookiee uprising, and you were this super powerful Wookiee force, like tearing through stormtroopers. <laughs> super stuff. powerful Wookiee force. <laughs> yeah. uh, there was an idea of a Darth Maul game. Okay. But George Lucas was like, Darth Maul, Wookiee force. Force. He teams up with the Wookiees. <laughs> but George Lucas, who, who like had a huge hand in this game, was like... He was like, I insist. George Lu- Lucas, Wookiee Force. <laughs> they like George. No, he was like, if you're going to make like a like a fun kind of drama and, you know, and all the elements of Star Wars, you don't wanna really want to have like a protagonist who doesn't speak English, yeah. which I guess was a result of uh, the Star Wars Holiday Special. <laughs> right. <laughs> which is like 50 minutes of not speaking uh-huh. English in that. So, so, so George Lucas was like, so I insist... <laughs> We say Chewbacca can speak English, <laughs> and we redouble the original trilogy so he is speaking English. That's right, exactly. Though if you do see some raw footage of that, he is speaking English. That old man is mad. You said it, Chewie. Right. He's just talking in Peter Mayhew's what voice. What does he do now? Like, what does modern big, big, That's a great big, question. big, big, big Netherlands he prob- uh, man, <laughs> the big guy from Holland noises, or whatever. Probably just makes the doesn't he? Probably just goes, yeah, yeah, you're he right. He probably does, yeah. Mm, like a cat being scratched. Yeah. Is, it, is this supposed to be an elevator? Am I tripping balls here? Like tripping balls, mate. It seems like you and your character are both tripping the proverbial balls. I've gone the wrong way. That's the door out. That's the door, yeah. Imagine if this was in a Star Wars movie, just a guy running around going, was I... Did I come out of that lift? All these sand corridors look the same to oh me, Oh, God, Jace. Remember this scene? But it's... Uh, turn your lightsaber off, mate. What are you doing? <laughs> That's crazy. That's this, uh, It's just on his belt. <laughs> Bloody hell, he's oh, the bald confidence. as brass. Yeah. Well, that's his, that's his big swing and dick moment. <laughs> yeah, he's totally. like, I'll keep my lightsaber on. Yeah, so uh, you've seen Star Wars, so you probably know where this ends up, right? Mm. He's in the pit. Oh, yeah, 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 in the pit. If you remember. Sure, yeah. yeah. Huh. There's a lot of rancors in the original game. Oh, there he is, that, 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 that coward. Look at yeah, him. Yeah, look at him go. Right behind Jabba the Hutt. Actually, I've, I've played through this like a couple of times to make sure it was all working. Uh-huh. I never noticed he was standing there. <laughs> like, we're going to see him again later. You were too focused on your goal of yeah. getting to Boba Fett that you didn't see Boba exactly. Fett right in front of you. Isn't that just a metaphor for life? You <laughs> know what I mean? Isn't it? People spend their whole life searching for Boba Fett, but it turned <laughs> out Boba Fett was behind Jabba the Hutt the whole time. Oh, my goodness. Look at this rancor. 
I love how these guys are attacking me. It's like, don't you think there's a bigger priority in the room? Yeah, right. You know, the Just giant the screaming rancor. rancor. Leave me alone. <laughs> anyway, so you can fight the Rancor, which is fine. Yeah, okay, um, great. You know, which is good. all good stuff. And when you defeat him, you're like, well, you beat the Rancor, that's fine. <laughs> you get a that's fine bonus. Can you pick up the bones and chuck him at people? No, you can't do any of that. You can't, but you can Luke Skywalker in with the big door. Oh, nice. Good, so, good, which good. is what I'm going to end up doing. Okay, but I'm right. just basically going to lure him away from the big door so I can do it. Oi! Oi! Hey, idiots. It's pretty big for a Rancor. And by that, I mean size that a Rancor should be, don't you think? Mm, mm, the, the standard Rancor size, yeah. one would assume. This goddamn stuttering is going to be... The death of us? No, mm. no, the banter keeps going, James. Don't worry. <sighs> Goddamn the door. Did you not get him? No. Oh. Did you see? Because he's still running about. Are <laughs> oh, you still... Then, yep, for sure. I'm not going to be able to do this. And, oh. and you'll be defeated. I'll be defeated. It'll be embarrassing for you. Hang on, I can do this. Okay. Because normally when we play these games, you defeat the game. Well, normally, like in one sitting. Yeah, that's within, true. Within, you, usually you speed run the every game. The thing is as well... Yes. And look... This is me, you know, complaining about, like, a, a job that's not real that I am doing, right? <laughs> it's actually really difficult to talk and play a game properly. Agreed. That's it's, why I pretty much stopped doing it. Yeah. I don't know if people have noticed. It's, it's like, playing through this, I'm like, yeah, this is a breeze. I got this, no problem. I get it. You open the door, you close uh -huh. the door, whatever. That'd be a fun little moment for everybody who's watching at home. You, but you're going to keep talking? Yeah, exactly. And I don't help. Sometimes go. I'm just like, I'm going to be... He's be interrupting me. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't know what, I don't know what's happening. Yeah, but here we go. Nice. Got him. Got him. Now the Rancor Keeper comes out and I kill him. Nope. Just some... <laughs> the Rancor Keeper comes out and just cries. <laughs> yeah, exactly. My baby. And that's when you kill him, though. Nice. Oh, he disappeared. I hate that in games. Right? It's so disingenuous. You should have been able to chop its head off and carry it around for the rest of the game. <laughs> just dragging it behind you. you got a free hand. Exactly. Just dragging it out there. Not the Rancor Keeper. Just a regular man. A regular man, I think. I might switch this to 1080p. Okay. Uh, for those watching at home, nice. stop this bloody stuttering and juttering, mate, that's going okay, on. Right. Let me fix this. Okay. Everybody just chill out for a second. Don't look at my PC screen. <laughs> Don't look at it. We're back in a crisp 720p. Oh, my goodness. Is it better? Doesn't seem to be. Seems worse, if anything. It <laughs> seems... You know. It seems grainier and slower. Yeah. No, no, no. Ooh. Look at this guy having a big wiggle. Good. You know what? Good texture on that, that that skirt situation he's got on. Oh, yeah. The scants. Oh, yeah. Do you, love co pants. do you love costumes, Mason? Yes. You're going to love this then. We okay. bloody go. Oh, you're going to change into the the, uh, met the metallic bikini. <laughs> That's right. Well, look, you, there's, we don't have that one, but we, we've got options galore here, mate. Who do you want to be? Wow. Regular Gallon Marek sort of utility combat, combat mm, suit? I could take Earl it. Obi-Wan Kenobi? Oh, I think I see a favourite approaching. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> don't, let's just let's settle on Dooku right, just yet, all right? all right? We could do a Django Fett. Mm, I don't like it. We could do a C-3PO. That's not bad, actually. Comedy, comedy, because he wouldn't have a lightsaber yeah, normally. Yeah, that he does, yeah. We got an Anakin Skywalker. Yeah. We got some kind of weird gremlin. Looks like Thrawn, man. Yeah. Remember that Imperial Commando game? People like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, Kid Fisto, one of my faves. <laughs> and then he could say his famous catchphrase, Fisto coming at ya. <laughs> So this this would make sense, but you know, because mm. you know that's what he wears when he. And that big stupid conehead man. Oh yeah, oh, look at this guy. He does have a big conehead, doesn't he? God, there's so many characters. General Starkiller. He's looking. Oh, they've aged him up. Nice. Great stuff. <laughs> okay. Hooded Sith boy, mm. different Sith boy. Blah blah yep. blah blah blah. I think that's what he's like under his armor after oh, all the damage that right. he, that, he, right, that was right. done, which is cool. We could do a Darth Maul. We could do a Mace Windu. Yeah. We could do a Qui Gon. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's picking that one. No. Look. Dooku's the classic, isn't it? Yeah, he is, isn't it? We can it? say some classic Christopher Lee lines from yeah. some movies. I'm on this speeder. I'm going over the dunes. Nice, nice. That's the stuff. <laughs> Do nice. you remember that? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. I'm having a, a, a devil of a time. Oh. It's going to take me to my last auto save point, which I'm not a fan of. But, no. you know, we could change his lightsaber color, but Christopher Lee's lightsaber, as we know, is the classic red. No, it's more of, what's a classic British color? Ooh, crumpet. Yeah, yeah crump <laughs> it's, it's crumpet colored. Exactly. <laughs> Here we play. How far did this set me back? Well, not too far. All right, Christopher Lee. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> what do you What do you think about the combat? The lightsaber behind the uh, holding behind the kind of back. I like it. Yeah, it's I good, like isn't it? it. Uh, reminiscent of a Sokatano in the sense that he did it first, I think. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I'm sure it was in comics and stuff. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, yeah. Probably some of those old Republic knights yeah, did it. Exactly. Or something. Dooku, you're one of the best. Right. People love you. People love. Can Dooku. you Can you spin it around the camera? And he, does he just look puzzled if you see his face? Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's good. I like yeah, it. Okay, right, right, Pretty right. good looking game, you mm. know, for 10 plus years old. Watch right, this right. door come down, Mason. 
Boom! The door fell off. Nice. Good work, Dooku. I think I killed a Jara in here with a door by accident. Oh. James, I'm going to read out some of Christopher Lee's top 20 quotes on acting, aging, and success. Oh my god, I would love that. Every actor has to make terrible films from time to time, but the trick is never to be terrible in them. That's so... I've heard him say... Yeah, I've heard... Yeah, good I've one, I've heard right? that one before. It's good. I yeah, like it. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah, yeah. What else? What else? Are you um, people should not pass judgment until they have seen the film. Yeah, well, that, yep. Are they, are they referring to prequels or? Oh, is that, is that, <laughs> no, I don't what's know. It the era? It, it provides no context. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 okay. All I can tell you is it's before 2015. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's very helpful. Uh, that's, he died in 2015. Oh, okay, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So literally every role he's done. That's gotcha. correct, Good, yes. good, good. Mm, what else yeah. you got? One should try anything he can in his career except folk dance and incest. <laughs> Why those this just, is from the Hollywood Reporter. I mean, this one is, of them, I'm like, yeah, don't do the second one. But folk dancing, why not? <laughs> it was for something you want to do. Mm. Uh, the, the immediately next quote is, The thing I've always tried to do is surprise people, to present them with something they didn't expect. Well, you did with the quote about incest, Christopher <laughs> Lee, if I'm honest with you. Great stuff. He was good in the Star Wars movies. I, I still maintain that, like, they shouldn't have just swapped out Darth Maul. Like, I feel like they're like, look yeah. at this cool new villain. Oh, ah, yeah, it's yeah. Christopher Lee now, you know? Mm. But, you know, whatever. Oh, I'm not going to fall for that trap, am I? Throwing away your lightsaber. No, so no, there's a, a big electricity trap up there. Uh, <laughs> Do you see it? Yeah, no, a, less, a lesser Sith Lord would yeah. absolutely have just walked underneath that and gotten zapped. Not me. Uh, that's I'll right. tell you what, when this is stuttering, this is not as fun. <laughs> Maybe for you, the person <laughs> playing it. Oh, yeah, people and are hoping probably, for a good video out of people it. People are probably loving it, though. Yeah, they'd be loving it. They'd be yeah. loving the stutter. They'd be like, why aren't you beating this? It's so, going so slowly right now. <laughs> You can just walk in between the slow stuff, <laughs> you know? Exactly. That That's the plum job, yeah, is yeah. to be the guy at the end of the corridor with the big machine gun. Oh, yeah. You know, because, I mean, what are the most days of the week? <laughs> what are the odds that somebody They've makes it up there? they got to get through, like, there, eight you know? electricity traps. Exactly, and, electricity yeah. traps and all the other the other guys who have to wade in with, like, yeah. axes and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. You're just, you're just, you're just there with your mate, like, elbow, and like, oh, get a load of this guy. Get a load of this guy having a, having a crack at this at the end of trying to get whatever we're guarding in this corridor. <laughs> and then... You know, one day Christopher Lee comes. Christopher in. Lee's there, and he's, he's you know he's talking about folk dance and all the other things he likes to talk about. And all of a sudden, <laughs> have you heard that that funny story from uh, the Lord of the Rings where you know he gets stabbed in the back? Yes, uh, it's in the extended edition of the third Lord of the Rings movie. Mm -hmm. They were like. You know, when you get stabbed in the back, make sure you make like a noise, like you get stabbed in the back. And he's like, well, actually, when you stab a man in the back, that's more like the wind is knocked out of them. People are like. He's stabbing men in the back because you know he's a, he's he's a war the, hero. Yeah, he's so, in, yeah. yeah, he killed he killed like a lot of real people in that's real right. life. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's just incredible. Everyone just went about their day. They probably all had lunch oh, together. Yeah, killing right. that. Yeah. I mean, they hid a lot of the silverware from him. <laughs> they, only, <laughs> they only gave him the sp a spoon because he's a Dracula. Yeah, he's a Dracula. Exactly. A Dracula's afraid of silverware. That's um. It's more of a vampire. Yeah. I'm more of a werewolf. Marvel thing, universe it? vampires are afraid of the silverware. Oh, there yes. you go. Yeah. Well, he probably knew that. So he would have known. Yeah, he would have known. It's amazing to me that Christopher Lee was never in a Marvel movie. All right. I mean, you know, he was getting up in years by, you know, by the he time. He could have been a Dracula. He could have been, been the Dracula. He could have been Morbius, the living Dracula. That's exactly right. He could have been Bucky, Captain America's kid sidekick. He totally could have been. Do you remember this torture room from Jabba's chamber? Sort of. Yeah, they can torture droids. I'm like, boom, I'm loving this. Nice. This is what Christopher Oh, he's got his, oh, that's a, that little droid's getting his feet to the fire, isn't that's he, right. eh? Nice, cop that idiot. Now you're dead. Yeah, but then there's like this, and it's like, oh, I can pull this down. And I was like, oh, what's this going to do? So I did it. Mm -hmm. But like... That's just a, if, you, if you've got a crushing machine, you've got yeah. a gym, you know what I mean, James? That's so true. Yeah. Oh, there we go. We got, there we go. What else can, come on. There we go. Mm. That's a crap torture machine. Not good, is it? No. Because no. it, it's raining outside. No, no, that's a forced field. Oh, okay, right, right. Because I'm just, I'm just saying mm. that would have been a great day for Tatooine. That's Everybody would have just put down their <laughs> lightsabers and their blasters and whatever. That's so been true. Like, Oh my god, they would have gone out in the rain, you know? Oh, definitely Turn they would have. Turn their head up and just... Oh, blah, 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 blah. Probably poison rain, though. Yeah, almost <laughs> certainly poison. Acid <laughs> rain of some sort. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Filled, with, filled with cannibal <laughs> slugs or something, you know? So this is the kind of bad guy that starts showing up in The Force Unleashed, which makes the game not as fun. Is he force-proof something? Yeah, it's like force-proof and he's got shields and whatever. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like... Yeah, and he yeah, breaks yeah. your defences. And I feel like the game doesn't do a good job of making you feel... More powerful as goes along. Yeah, like we, you get more powerful, but everybody else gets more powerful yeah, immediately. And they've got like four shields and whatever. So I just got to open this goddamn. Yeah, door. what you need with this sort of game is you need to get more powerful, and then there is a there is a. Oh, I'm certain, dead. 
There's a certain you are dead. You, you've, oh my god! You said you were going to speed run this too. You said you were going to ten I minute did. speed run this. <laughs> what you want is you want to you want to become more powerful, and then there's like at least one level where you are just crushing yeah. everyone, and it's just a real blast. And, and I'm sure that is the around. case. But I even feel like with the, the Fallen Order, and to be fair, Fallen Order is like built off the back of like this and other Star Wars games. Mm. That even though the bad guys get harder, you still get opportunities to to like to wreck shop. Like you'll come into a room and it's like, oh, it's like twenty stormtroopers I can just yeah, right, right, right. chop through, mm -hmm. like willy nilly. Yeah, oh, I see. He's got his little force field. Okay, yeah. I get it. All right. Just you should, at the very least, be able to able to chop these guys' legs off. I agree. Also, where were these guys in the original trilogy? Well, why weren't they protecting bloody Jabba's sail bar? I'd you know love I mean? to tell you, mate. Well, this is before. This is like a few years before the Jabba's oh, sail bar. I oh, killed them all, probably. Yeah, he killed them all, probably. Except Christopher he didn't, because that's this is non. <laughs> Oh, Christopher Lee probably did it. Yeah, that's yeah, fair, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, was, he was even more sprightly then. So. <laughs> I've died again somehow. Um, that's because you're not very good at this. Yeah, it's not my fault, though. Mm. I feel like it's more like just... Um, uh, it's probably your fault, actually, now that I think about whose fault it could be. Look, if we're, if we're apportioning <laughs> blame, I just want the listeners to know uh, I'm, I'm going to reveal there is no slowdown at all. This game is moving at a, at a perfectly fine pace, and James is just using it as an excuse <laughs> to explain why, why it's not, uh, not working. You should have seen me bloody dominating this game by myself, mate. I'm yeah. just in the other room. You know, this, my family's, yeah. you know, I don't know what they're up to, but right, I'm just yeah. concentrating wholly on this. And I'm mm. just crushing it, mate. That's right. I'm throwing people aside. I'm doing funny things with the force like this. Like, that's funny. That's funny. Funny <laughs> jokes. That went through that person's body and they're dead now. Yeah, they're dead now. There's a Jawa bonus for putting a bunch of Jawas into this wheel. Okay, um, sure. But we don't need to do that. There, you get, you get the just idea. Just imagine it. Yeah. Imagine it happening. It's just like Jawa maybe, bonus. Maybe somebody in editing... Yeah. Editing this video could just put like 20 through, like copy that, copy and paste that, and then put yeah. Java bonus over the top of the screen. See this bit here? Yeah, that yeah. guy changed into a, a, a pig boy. Because that's the droid proxy who shows up in the game. And he's also like, he's your sidekick and he tells you things. But he like changes into other like Jedi and Sith. As like a training oh, moment. He's a, he's a hologram. There's a moment where he's like a like he's like Obi Wan, and, and when I first played the game, I'm like, oh my god, Obi Wan's here. But it, was, it wasn't really; it was a hologram. Uh -huh. and I was like, cool. Before James. I could be like, that doesn't even line up with the timeline or canonically. It already righted itself. I, 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 like I didn't get even finish my email complaining. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. James, your explanation of that whole situation was so evocative; it was like I was there. <laughs> this is very. Attack of the Clothes. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And I because don't like that it. Game, that movie was like a video game in a yeah, lot of ways. Yeah, that's true. They, look, I know they overpowered him too much, like, yeah. but it, it, did make a, it did make for like fun gameplay. Yeah, yeah. But I also see why they took it out of canon, because this guy's like just obliterating people like left and right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he, he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Vader quite easily. Like he could have killed Luke Skywalker in a second. Like it wouldn't have even been... Yeah, for sure, exactly. Yeah. He would have flung him into space. Yeah, exactly. If it would have come down again. <laughs> you actually do get to fight Luke Skywalker in a in a DLC uh -huh. on Hoth at one point. Oh, okay. it's Dooku. Guess who Dooku's <laughs> going to fight, Mason? Dooku? Oh. <laughs> it's, not, it's not Dooku v. Dooku. Uh oh. There he is, the great man himself. Uh, they didn't animate the face, but he's saying stuff. Yeah, right, right. Gotcha. You know, gotcha. a, yeah, you yeah. Can't, it's a skin. What do you want? That's exactly right. Yeah. You won't, you won't get away this time, Dooku. <laughs> Or South African. Yeah, well, it's close enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can actually make him so his jetpack malfunctions and he, like, Oh, the flies classic into Boba the Fett death. Nice. Yeah, he flies into the ground. It's pretty good. I mean, he's, he's a wide mm. open target, isn't he? Yeah, he really and is. And I think maybe he set his own cape on fire. But <laughs> he's doing great. Look at him go. You know what I don't like about the physics of this? What's that? Is that sometimes there's too much stuff on screen mm -hmm. and you can't kind of really nail down specifically what you want to grab. Like you want yeah, to grab a right. specific person, but you grab a box or yeah, whatever, sure, you know sure, what I mean, sure. stuff like that. Yeah. You know, which people say like, well, the PSP version, I remember the reason of the time, there's less like stuff on screen. So it's like, it's easier to do. There's you know? simply a box on there's screen. Box, That's all you do. The game. It's the force unleash and all you do is lift and, and set down a box over <laughs> and over much. again. Yeah. And look, we have actually played that game. We um we played like a bonus level on Jabba Sail Bites oh. actually a while oh, back. Oh, we did, didn't we? Yeah, that was from ages back. But yeah, it, it, that game isn't as good as this because, you know, how could it be? Precisely. Yeah. This is Dooku v. Fett. Yeah, exactly. Come on, just... I want the malfunctioning jetpack backpack. <laughs> Come on, man. There we go. Nice. There game. we go. <laughs> you idiot Boba Fett. That's very, that's very Boba Fett. Mm. Stab him. Stab him in the ground. Normally, you know, he comes up, he does the ground stab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the cool things that I did, you know, just by mm, myself. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> what a dumbass. I, I hope, like I hope there's like a slide fit. whistle sound as he goes <laughs> up and down. Oh, we can make it happen, definitely. And a fart noise when he lands. Yes. Oh, here we go. Quick time event. Also, I should point out, there's no ramification for uh, 
losing oh, he's <laughs> all right, you just you get shot just, a bunch. Just get shot forever. Nice. It's fine. Oh, man. Just, this is the end of the video, I guess. You're not even you're not even losing any life, I don't I'll think. Be right. No, not at all. Nice. There's a lot of this in this game, and they're fun and they're cinematic, but like, I don't know. I feel like they're not like. He's got a thermal detonator. He certainly does. Oh, you got me with it, but I'm fine. Yeah. Get up, Christopher Lee. <laughs> he's all right. <laughs> look at that da look yeah. at that Sith Dash. <laughs> Sith Dash. I bet there is a power called Sith I Dash. Boom, that's it. Nice. We got him. His head should be in there. It should be should be rolling out, <laughs> right? Yeah. Or at least it's filled with like a bucket of blood. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> huh. I just feel like there's some you could just add a, a bit. Just uh, just yeah. that mustache. That famous Absolutely. Jeremy Bullock yeah. mustache. What I do love about the DLC for this, and I think this game in general, is it the way it heightens everything. Here we go. Here's the stuff. This it's, is what we want. So this is, you know, when they he has to take the droids to whatever. Yeah, yeah. So Luke's in there. Luke's, in, but so he's like, I'll hold him at bay. Dooku v Obi Wan. Ah, oh, it's a rematch. The rematch of the um, uh, everybody wanted to say <laughs> two very old men. It feels a little bit. They, they they make some interesting choices with angles in these yeah. these levels, like that that fight with Boba Fett. Like, yeah, there wasn't really any close ups, but in this, it's like you're playing Street Fighter. Yeah. Is we there a, is there a <laughs> after this is there a level where you beat up Luke's lightsaber? Uh, light <laughs> yeah, you just, yeah, exactly. Yes. You just, <laughs> just bunch it to pieces. Just bunch it to pieces, and then he shows up later. He's like, my speeder. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look at all these droid, these floating balls. Oh, you know what I mean? Droids, it's enhancing yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I kind of love about this. They're like, let's just do some fun stuff. I'm in the fire. By, uh, oh, that's you. Okay, yeah. yeah. I can't get out. Oh, those Obi or is Obi Wan attacking you with all those balls? Yeah, I can't get out. There oh, we no, go. No, you're out. You're, yeah. you're doing great. Yeah, I don't think it was hurting me. Yeah, so you know he's got some mm, skills. Nice. But do you remember we also we we fought Darth Vader in this game once in a different that's video. Right, yeah. yeah. But there's actually a really fun ending to this. How he dies, and you're gonna love it. There's a twist that's gonna twist your, your bloody head off your neck, mate. Okay. You ready? I'm excited. Yes. I have to kill him first. I, I'll do Does that. he fall into one of those gigantic purses? Oh, it's him? one of these these situations. Oh no, it's a real Dragon Ball situation. Yeah, great. it is. I've never seen that before. Ow! I know people are like, you're not doing all the right combos. I know. I know. <laughs> Here we go. You ready for you're this? You're doing it on purpose. I am. I know all the combos, obviously. Oh, nice headbutt. <laughs> nice. Good, good, good. Uh, here we go. Watch this death. It's pretty good. Not that. I missed. Uh -huh. But uh, there's no maybe, ramifications. Maybe you can so just do it again. Yeah, you can keep, just do keep it going forever. Yeah, it's nice. fine. Yeah, I get another shot. Thank God. I get another chance to kill Alec Guinness. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Dream. A couple of war heroes, probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Here we go. Uh oh. That's fun. Nice. I mean, he kind of shrinks down, but this is the great bit. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't actually kill him with your lightsaber; it goes through him. All oh, right. So you got to either electrocute your lightsaber mm -hmm. to hit him, or you or just shoot or him lightning. Yeah, yeah which cool. Is nice. Fine too. Nice. So you know he's a force ghost. Yeah, yeah. He's more powerful than anybody. Well, now he's force so toast, forth. baby. Yeah. yeah. I mean, everybody thought it was cool when Luke Skywalker held his lightsaber when he was a force ghost. Well, maybe not a lot of people thought that was very cool. But this <laughs> game did it first, maybe. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. it was in a comic, Mason. Mm, that's right. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So much combat. There's a lot of right. <laughs> You ever seen a ghost get kicked? In, yeah, yes. Imagine seeing this in the 70s. <laughs> Your mind would melt. <laughs> You'd die. Just two... You'd die. Just, just two men known largely for Hammer Horror <laughs> movies and war films. One's see-through, and they're shooting lightning at each other. You know what I mean? You'd be like, ah! You'd run screaming from the theatre. You'd have PTSD if you survived That's it. That's right, yeah. You'd go home and you'd scream at your family. That's right. Oh, now there's a giant laser I can't arm get involved. out of the corner. It's like reversed the... The polarity of the, this is so this is so Dragon Ball Z <laughs> fighting game. It's ridiculous. Here we go. Nice, good. Get I've got him. him on the ropes now, Mason. His spirit is slowly dying. <laughs> Here we go. Hell yeah! I wonder if this is really what happened after Alec Guinness died. I wonder if Christopher Lee really did fight his ghost. Mm -hmm. The timeline matches up. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I'd say it's safe to say it's canonical. You know. I missed him. Now he hit me with lightning. Wow. But luckily... You can do it again. No consequences. No nice. Yeah. He's all... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's boss nassing it. There we go. And yet his blade remains. Wow. Ironic. <laughs> Is it? Nope. Yeah. So anyway, Luke gets away. Yeah. Uh, you know, like in Star Wars. Mm. Turn your lightsaber off! Nah, he's swinging For it. For the love of God! No, no, no. That's his dom. <laughs> anyway. God, Dooku can do anything. <laughs> he can't, can't he? Yeah. <laughs> well, he can do anything in the movie. Yeah. That. Uh oh. Track and bacon. Oh, he's added something or removed something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at those liver spots. <laughs> they, they really nailed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, this has been this. What'd you think? I loved it. Yeah? I had a grand old time. I'm glad you did. Yeah. 
Uh, so look, you know, it, this is all available on Steam if you do it to play it, obviously. Yeah. And you know, you can get an old copy of but it. But why would you if you just you just watch this video over yeah. and over again and that's the same? That's all you really need. We've isn't really it? encapsulated yeah. the, the pure spirit of it. If you want us to come back to some of the Star Killer DLC stuff, yeah. he's, he kills some other people yeah. from the Star Wars universe. He fights Princess Lara. Do you reckon Mike Carlos is like, I'm oh, Mike Carlos and I love Jarvis? <laughs> yeah, I, I reckon that's what he it's said. That's probably what he says. Yeah, I reckon he says it every day. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, this, of course, is Caravan of Garbage. We do this every week. If you've got a suggestion, leave it below. We want to know it, don't we, Mason? Yeah. And here's a hint towards what we're doing, what we're doing next week. What are we doing? Let's find out. Let's look. Oh, let's have a look. Nothing! We're taking a break! If you want to see these videos early though, you're like, man, this was great. <laughs> this was really great. Hey, my name's Brian Tibbetts and I love <laughs> Gribbets, which yeah. is probably a Star Wars It's probably the frogs and the Jabberies. Yeah, yeah, they're probably Gribbets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, nice, nice. Uh, you can go to bigsandwich.co. Uh, you can sign up. Early videos like this. Bonus podcast. Ad-free feed for our regular podcast, The Weekly Planet. Movie commentary. My name's Cameron Suey and I love Chop Suey. The system of a down song. Yeah, he would. He would, wouldn't he? Yeah, he would. You're probably not even going to put these in. I'm so. putting them all in. <laughs> I'm just thinking about how I'm going to integrate the song Chop Suey into the edit. Yeah, nice. Seamlessly. There'll probably be a star wipe and it will come in. Yeah, yeah Star yeah. Wars style. I love it. Yeah. Great. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, grab that gem, you guys. I'll see you next week. My name's Peter Dollar and I love bloody Star Wars dollars. You know what I mean? And those Disney dollars, Disney baby. Disney dollars. Yeah.